Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Novaetis. I've got a mission right now to save this village from bandits, but I should report that I have taken part in another... Um, I was actually invited this time around to a tournament by, uh, I can't remember, the Duke or the White Count of uh, Suno. So I was invited, I got a letter to come rather than hearing just some, some random guy passing by and saying oh you know what there's a tournament over there so I'm a I was actually invited to it which uh, you can see from my renown um, so they, they kind of know me now but still I'm not part of the gentry class uh, however I have managed to get through to the point where I have 350 prestige points which makes I'm still part of the lower class, but I think I am on the last step and then I will go into the like middle class or the merchant type class because right now I am a craftsman. So I'm a skilled artisan. Um, yes, but I haven't been able to actually be producing my master class bread yet in Praven. Um, but I've managed to get up to, I think, somewhere above 25%. And I think I have enough money so that I can sort of push that beyond there. Um, a lot of people have been talking about, uh, you know, different styles of how to fight in the wars and so on and the crusade. But until I find a medic, war isn't going to be feasible because right now I'm losing... When I'm in a battle, especially against these uh, heathens that come about, um, I lose about 80% of my army. So we really need a healer. And so far, I've been looking through the taverns. I'm guessing because there's so many towns and stuff that they're so spread out, it's hard to find them. Anyways, uh, a bit about what happened. Uh, oh, they actually took it. I did not know that, that the Order has taken Aldenborough. That's interesting, because uh, the Svadians were actually kicking ass quite a bit. They had taken Veluka, they had taken Yelen, they had all these castles and stuff, and they've taken a lot of stuff, and I think we even had the castle out here somewhere. But the enemy has rebounded, um, the Rodox took back Veluka, and... Uh, the Merchant Republic, I thought they were kind of screwed because they only have one place and when they declared war on us, I thought uh, they were gonna kind of screwed. But they actually took Yalen and they took these two castles before peace uh, was agreed upon. And now the Order has taken uh, not only this castle right here, but they've taken this town as well. And uh, I think we might have had this one as well, but the Rodok people took it. As far as what's going on with the other, I haven't really checked. But one thing that I have noticed is the fact that the um, the Mongol horde has turned up. And they have been able to cut their way through here. They've taken these two towns. Three towns, because they've taken these, this town as well. And then they've taken a number of forts as well. Uh, these three forts. So they're really cutting their way through the land. Um... But anyways, we're hoping to keep progressing through the... Because the, it, it is this special thing with this mod, uh, really, which is the the prestige stuff and the sort of civilian class system, which is the interesting part. Uh, something I think is the similar thing that uh, the guy who makes Leogil wants to implement in Leogil. So this is like the special thing. So... I mean, it's going to take a while, I think, until I get to the point where I'm going to be able to strike out, take castles and stuff like that and become a nobleman. Of course, I first have to achieve the kind of prestige that I will become a nobleman before I can go around um, and uh, do such things. I mean... When I go up to a castle, this the guards spit at me still because I'm part of the lower class. Even though I'm kind of famous uh, for my battle skills, 
But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and save this village from bandits. I've been able to recruit two companions. Marnas, which I guess is a different word for a Marnid. And then Quintus, which is inst the... It's the... Um, what's it called? The guy that... Um, what is he? He's the engineer. And Marnas, or... Yeah, Marnas. Marnid. Uh, I was thinking that I was going to make him the, um, I was going to make him the, uh, not too dangerous this time around. I mean, there's still, you know what, I'm going to go off my horse. Two-handed sword does not really work that well. <laughs> I've taken a sword from the heathens and it deals 44 damage. In a full swing, so there, there he is. There is Quintus. Come on, Quintus, help me! No, not Quintus. I'm just cutting people down and their horses at the same time. Also, I got this uh, helmet. I got that in the second tournament in Suno. Um, I wasn't able to get that much cash though. It's quite hard. Uh, I upped the the difficulty on the uh, on the tournament, and it was quite hard to fight. I think I just maybe chose the wrong equipment. I should have uh, possibly chosen some other stuff. This sword is crazy strong. I mean, even the heathens don't really withstand this sword. But I think I really should have a backup like a some form of um, mace or something so I can take pri people prisoner. Because there's a number of different options when you take prisoners to release them and stuff. And you can get prestige from that, so I could get prestige from battles. I wouldn't have to uh, sort of bake bread and stuff to uh, try to advance through the class system. Come back here, you bastard! Oh, I haven't loaded it. I am actually almost dead here. Let's see if we can get this bastard. Oh, there's one. Come on, then. Cleared out this village of all the bandits. Bandits are operating near your near your castle, my lordship. Although I am only a craftsman. But I can kinda don't dress as a craftsman. Oh shit, crap, 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 crap. Has a lot of arrows. And I oh yeah, I've been getting these um messengers sort of to give me trades and I managed to get the trains um, open-minded so when I meet other people who are open-minded I get one relationship point let's see if we can get all of these I have so little health left that I don't want to risk it really oh. is it gonna come around the corner He's r right around here. And now I think that's the last one, unless there is... Nope, that was the last one, and I saved the village, kinda. I mean, everyone's dead, but... Kinda saved it. 
my casualties, luckily for me this time around, five of them were wounded. Look at that, 49 renown. That was a lot. Refuse to take. This will give me a good standing with the village. I will be able to recruit peasants from it. Which is good. Um, but I didn't get, I don't think I got any prestige from that. No, I didn't. Um, but what I'm think, what I think I should do now is for the fact that I can pay to do how many of those sort of masterclass attempts as I want. And since I've gone about to uh, 25%, that should give me roughly, you know, if I do four tries, I should be able to... Uh, to complete the task. Let's see, do it in the um, around noon. We go back to our workplace, see if we can do one more. So I get about maybe 30%. And then we'll go and ask the the guy in charge. The church square. Also, it would be good if I got to the merchant class because then I could set up businesses. And so I could actually pay for my army. Uh, oh yeah, I lost my horse, so now I've got a donkey. But it's a very large donkey, and it's uh, the donkey is actually quite fast. But uh, I'll probably buy another horse pretty soon. Oh yeah, I bought an apartment as well in in town, so we should go and take a look at that. Let's go ahead and see if we can't do this. So I've got 30% chance producing my masterpiece. Um, disappointment, the first one. But how about if we go ahead and do this again? Yes! I managed to do it. Am I a... Yes! Can I have information about enterprises here? Uh, buy land for productive enterprises. Very good, sir. We in the guild know and trust you. And I think I could find someone to tell you land. You yes! We've managed to get inside the... Uh, a mill and a bakery to make bread for flour. Very good, sir. The land and the material on which you may build your mill will cost you... 4,500 florins. Right now, your mill will produce bread worth um, 426 florins a week, while the flour needed to manufacture the batch will be 200, and labor and upkeep will be 60. I guess that your profit would be uh, minus 150 florins a week, assuming, of course, the prices remain constant, which I can virtually guarantee you they will not do is to proceed. Now, we're not going to make any money for this. Unless, of course, I make my own flour, which, you know, the flour needed to manufacture the batch will be 249. So if I take away 249 um, there, we will be making about uh, what, a, hot, little, a little less than 100 a month or a week. Is it a per week? Yes, per week. So, not a lot, but I can make a lot of uh, Florence. I mean, we took all this time. Can I get another apprenticeship? Maybe? Uh, can I get another apprenticeship? Uh, let's see. Oh, around exactly purpose of the guild. Can you tell me what to do? How wealth is the re buy land for productive I can only okay so I can only go ahead and do this I should have probably choose something better than a mill and a bakery but since we are we have done so much to become a, a baker we're gonna go ahead and do this and we're gonna create our a bakery uh, but first we're gonna go off to my apartment managed property and we're gonna visit it. I can rent this out to uh, actually g uh, help my business out. To actually make it go around a bit. But here is uh, the apartment I bought in town. Here is where I store my meats. There is where I store my flax. All my ale. A bit of coins lying around just to show everyone how fancy I am. I got food. 
cooked food lying around all over the place just because, well, I'm lazy and I don't have anyone to uh, clean up after me. You know, like, I, pu I put this cheese right here. I don't know why, but, you know, keep, it ch keep some cheeses around. Put some nice plates up there. Although no one notices them, so uh, maybe I should bring them down. Got my bed. Very nice. This box right here. I, I, I bought it from a, a Minecraft guy. And here's my chest where I got some swords. And here we can see my sword, which I got right now, which is pretty darn good. And most of this stuff I actually stole off enemies. I haven't bought any of it. Oh, there's my excellent bread. Mm, we're gonna save the excellent bread, you know, in my apartment because uh, it's, it's very nice bread. It's excellent. Some excellent bread right there. So I'll, I'll, when when my grandkids come here, I'm gonna show them. When I be when I was your age, I became a baker by making these excellent breads. Um, I can sell it, but I'll sell it for not even a fourth of. Um, uh, what's this? Currently, I have a. Do you want to visit it? The buying value of this resident in Cascaring the Florence you have f in the in the pocket. Uh, 31 prestige points will be earned upon buying. Well, it's already mine. Let's go ahead and go to the tavern and see if anyone's there. I kind of want... Uh, Jihadi Merchant. One Suicide West, please. He doesn't sell anything. Apparently. There was actually a Crusader guy over here recently. But he... Uh, he didn't sell anything either. Can you teach me a poem? Yes, sure, teach me that. Now when I am... Ba we need to visit our bakery. Because now... I shouldn't be able to go to my work. Yes, visit your mill. So now you work master... The master miller. Good day. We will host... Good to hear. So they will start produce in seven days so once seven days is gone I will come back here and hopefully I'll have a load of materials that I can pour into this business to actually make it profitable and not cost me a lot of money but if it still is uh, you know what I could probably save it up and I can uh, use the bread instead let's go ahead and pray a bit Damn, we, we're really fast at praying. Um, yes. Let's go ahead and see here. Here's my my train. Open-minded. I am uncertain whether fate itself is flawed or if it's been lacking in the people he has met. One plus relationship upon meeting open-minded persons. Good. Uh, right. What we need to do is we need to find a medic if we're gonna start a war party so let's head over to Suno and then we go through the towns all these Christian towns and uh, we'll see if we can find someone ransom broker wonder traveler there's a lot of people here hired blade but none that I want you know what do you know where my companion Marnas is Nama. Okay, so we could head, I guess, up to Norma. It's kind of far away, but um, you know what? It's, tr yeah, traveling time. Let's first go hit this place. Hit the oh, crap. Bloody extremists. I will give you nothing but cold steel. Because of my... Um, heavy sword. I'm quite uh, adept at fighting these guys, but there's quite a lot of them, aren't there? Oh, here they come. I'm killing you with your own steel, you bastards. They're really annoying, these bastards. Why did the flag guys charge at them? Did I tell you to attack? I don't think so. Thank you. 
Oh. The thing is, most of the hits are like duds, so they do not they do not do a lot of damage, do they? I just can get. Oh crap! They've got my donkey stuck here. You know what? I'll dismount because it's a lot easier fighting with the two-handed sword once you're on once you're on the ground. Away with you! And I'm doing this mostly because I don't want to waste my troops because they would die if we do not have any surgical skills at all. And I don't think I should uh, take someone that's already set up to be a... Uh, What's it called? Okay, now we'll tell them to charge. Ah, crap. The uh, the enemy has already been through there. And they've taken down a load of them. We have all... 15 of my men died in this bloody bast bastard battle. Where are they? There they are. So kill, all, kill off all my men. Bastards! Can't just someone get rid of all of you? There we go. We got rid of these bastards. And I gained a level. Good thing though is... I mean, these guys had attacked a lot of different people. I'm not sure if I can actually... You know what, let's bring on everyone, because uh, we're going to need one hell of a war party. To be able to uh, just traverse these terrible lands. We're going to need a lot of food for this. I think I actually got, yeah, I got a lot of flowers, so we don't actually need food. What we probably need is going to need some more water. And then I'm going to go ahead and sell these. Um, probably gonna keep this to give to my, one of my companion. This thing, however, no. And this thing, no. So we got 500 there. And then visit the tavern to see if we got Hired Blade. Relic Seller. And Terrin. Now I guess Terrin is a crossbow guy, so I don't think he's a medic. But how about the Relic Seller? What do you have to sell? A sacred sculpture and a sacred stone. Oh. What's so sacred about it? Let's talk with this guy anyways. Greetings there, brother. There's the doom and downfall of all the highborn lords and ladies. No rebel talk, thank you. I'll be off. Clearly, we cannot trust this man. I'm trying to become a lord. I'm not trying to... Uh, Cause the downfall of the class system. I'm doing a a very very. Oh, here we go. Let's see. It. Go into town. Catherine. Mercenary. Catherine. By any chance, would you be my? Yes. Keep your distance. By the way, my apologies. I was merely going to say that you look a bit down on your luck. My luck. You could say that. It was my bad luck to be born to a weak father who married me off to a drunken layabout who beat me. It was my bad luck when I ran away from my husband to be taken by a group of bandits. It was my bad luck that only one among them who was kind to me, who taught me to hunt and to fight, inspired the jealousy of the others. Who knifed him and forced me to run away again. But I do not count myself unlucky, stranger. No more than any other woman in Caladria. This uh, uh, fetid bat backwater, this dung heap among the nations populated by apes and jackals. Mm. Are you by any chance looking for work? I might be. I could certainly use the money. But let the followers know that I do not suffer layabouts. 
and brutes. Anyone who misbehaves around me will quickly find an arrow in the gullet. I will hire you. Try not to shoot anyone, uh, by the way, on your first day. Five thousand! I want a payment of five thousand! Are you expecting to work free? Sorry, I can't afford that. Five thousand! Goodness gracious! Five thousand! Who does she think she is? That's not even close to reasonable. I got the... This, uh... I got Quintus for 500. But don't tell... Don't tell Quintus, though. Don't tell Quintus. We're gonna go to Rivet Inn. And, uh... Take a look at their tavern. See if they... Ransom Broker. Cannoneer. And, uh, Musician. This person looks quite busy. I don't think I should interrupt. Fine. We're not going to interrupt. There's no one here. Marnas must, might have already gone from uh, Sironid lands. How many actually do uh, a castle hold? About, say about 150 people then. So I would need one hell of a war party to be able to take a castle. 70, I can hold 70, my party can hold 75 people right now. Let's hope I can actually enter this, because some of these, you know what? Let's go ahead and take a look how the mosque looks. I imagine it's quite fanciful as well. I don't know if it was as fancy as the cathedral. It's like a huge slumber party with stuff all over the place. Why do you not have any feet on? I mean, not any shoes on. Let's go to the tavern. Let's see. Marnas. Relic seller. You again? Do you have anything else this time around? No, you have those crazy stones. You might be a healer then. But if you go for a 5,000. Ah, Marnas. Ah, oh, it's good to see you alive, sir. I was wounded and left for dead, and I did not know whether you had been captured. Well, you could bloody well have stayed in Svartian lands, at least. Not bugger off to a bloody Saranid Muslim place. Anyways, welcome back. Alright, now I'm gonna see... Uh, hello there, from the looks of you, I'd say you're expecting to get in some, some fights in the near future. Are you by any chance looking for some help? I could be. What is your story? Well, sir, as long as I can remember, I've had a weakness for pretty things and I've gotten into trouble. You see, I grew up in uh, Mayrenburg Castle as a bonded servant, working alongside my mother in the kitchen. I would amuse myself by hunting mice through the pantries and sculleries. I would be so good at it, I put the castle cat out of its job and eventually the Lord realized that I might also be employed to track down bigger game on certain errands of a type perhaps better left unsaid. Mm hmm, murderer. Needless to say, I found a number of opportunities to avail myself of trinkets that I had formerly belonged to my lords and miss, so I was able to buy myself out of bondage and find hire as a free agent. My last job was here in Nara. Unfortunately, last employer's wife had a lovely amulet of a kind I simply could not resist. How much would you? A thousand florins, that's quite a lot for a thief. Tell me that you are a um, healer. Good day to you! Hello! What's a clearly well brought up young lady like you doing in a place like this? A good question, and I shall tell you. My father, a well-known merchant in Nama, decided that I should marry to one of his business partners, a man well past the age of 30. I've been an obedient daughter of all my life, but, but it was a ridiculous and horrid proposition, so I ran away. I shall marry whoever I want, and when I want to. Moreover, regardless of what my father thinks, I am perfectly cake capable of taking care of myself. I was thinking that I should perhaps join a band of gypsies or a troop of mercenaries. Well, it looks so happens that I am a band of gypsies. No, uh, 
I am a band of mercenaries. That's what I am. How much? Valuable addition to your ranks and various classical literature declaimed several uh, loot and manage household servant. Oh, uh, well, I guess that's a start. We can teach you the rest. Excellent. Ten florins! That's a bargain, I'd say. Stop staring at her tits, Marnus. You rude cunt. And by the way, that is the sa the sword of Harless the Bold. Uh, keep that. Sometimes, sometimes, drinking it up, are we? Mm. Typical. A thousand for a thief. I don't know. Especially since I don't have that much money. And my, my bakery business is not booming, to say the least. Uh, how about, do they have anything interesting here? I'll probably give this to Marnet so we can hug, hi hide his ugly face. Um... Jousting shields. The ladies probably also need some kind of armor, but we'll. Uh, the best thing is probably to loot some armor for for uh, for her rather than to buy because uh, buying is kind of expensive. Yes, I think we will do that. But we can start off by giving. Where is he? First of all, we move her up. Yeah, look at that. Surgery and first aid. We've got ourselves a bit of a war party. In Quintus. First off, Marnus. Here you go. You can hide your ugly face. Then you already have the sword. 10,000. And, uh, yeah, we're going to see about finding some more stuff for you. Uh, step bandits. Yes. Seems like an ample target. Just need to upgrade some people here. To ready ourselves for the coming battle. And I noticed that I've got a... I've got a point to spend as well. We're going to spend that in Charisma. Because we're going to need a lot more people if we're going to start fighting. Persuasion is good. First aid. Trainer. Trainer is going to be good. Riding. I need a new... I desperately need a new horse. But I guess we can steal some from these people that we're about to attack. Step bandits. Step right up. Oh, they're actually running from me. And there's no way I'm going to keep up with the step bandits. Can we find something to fight out here? 12 influence points added. You know what? There's no way we're going to be friendly towards the Mongols, are we? Ah, oh, they've already looted that village. They've looted that, they've looted that. How far could we go to loot? They've looted all their villages. You know what? We can stay stay close to it. And see when it rebounds. And then we'll loot it again. Oh. Lying. Crap. Now we'll actually go against 66 step bandits. Right. Cavalry. Ready ourselves. And then the infantry will hold back there, with the archers behind. Oh, here they come. Oh, they're riding camels. Cavalry, charge! War it is! You know what? I'm gonna dismount my blood donkey. Come here! Slay them! Away with you! Fight men, fight! Oh. 
probably best to uh, actually mount up now, since they're all over the place. Fight them! Oh, that was my step archer. Let's go close. Seems like they might need some aid over here. Damn, look at that axe she's got. Draw your crossbow, woman. We just need to clear out all these bloody animals so we get a clear line of sight on the enemy. These lands are full of bandits. It looks like we cleared off a lot of them though. Yeah. Right. Everyone, forwards! Let's find them and slay them. There was quite a few down here. We've got one coming up. If I could do an overhead cut. That would have been so much better. That's one of ours. Let's load up this crossbow. Get him! Good. Get that camel bastard. Force the enemy away. Right, how is it actually going here? Yeah, we've got a lot of enemies stuck down in the corner. Which I we should be able to quite uh, quickly be able to uh, send off. Death to you, heathen! We've got one left. And there we go. We are victorious. I do think we can return home at this point. Um, so I can release them and I can gain a lot of prestige. And then we capture these that they had, uh, or we save them. Um, well now we've got, got a new horse, so I don't need the donkey. Oh. I don't need Mr. Donkey, I can have this saddle horse instead. Oh, I, ah, I should have picked up some more stuff. The thing is, it might be dangerous to be out here with the horde going around. So I think we're going back home. But um, this uh, turned out quite well, I think. Or maybe what I should do is I should stay here a bit longer and just work up the party. And see what kind of loot and stuff we can get. What did I pick up? I picked up some bows and stuff. A flanged mace. We're going to use that one. Um, 24, 26. The camels. We're going to sell most of this. But for the next one. We're going to see about. Um, keeping quite a lot. So we can give that out to our companions. But looking at the time here, I'm going to end it right here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully 
I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!